Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to reduce negative improper fractions. Now, when you're reducing improper negative fractions, it's actually the same thing as you would to reduce improper positive fractions. You reduce them the exact same way regardless of sign. So let's talk about how you can do that. If you have, for example, negative 22 over 7, for example, what you can do is to reduce, or you can even turn it to a mixed number, just do the same thing as you normally would. Forget about the negative sign for right now and just divide 7 into 22. So 7 goes into 22 three times, remainder 1. So that means that negative 22 sevenths is negative 3 and 1 seventh. So that's one way of reducing an improper negative fraction. Now another way, if you have negative 32 over 6, same kind of idea. What you can do is reduce both numbers at the same time and looks like they can both be reduced by 2, so this will be negative 16 over 3. And then if you want, you can do the division like we did before, and then rewrite it as a negative mixed number if you like. So 3 goes into 16, looks like 5 times. 5 times 3 is 15, remainder 1. So this is like negative 5 and 1 third. So when you're reducing negative and improper fractions, it's the same kind of rules as you normally would. It, the rules are pretty much the same regardless of sign. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to reduce improper negative fractions.